with over 93 ministers of environment gathering at the first United Nations Environment Assembly. The host Nairobi has been referred as the capital of environment in the world. The outgoing president Hassan Hilal has cited big gaps in implementing international environment goals. And the challenge of the increasing climate variability and related, extreme, related extremes of rainfall and temperature. This phenomena is particularly threatening to arid and semi-arid lands uh, in various countries whose environments are naturally fragile and, le and less resilient to climatic variations and whose people remain uh, predominantly dependent on rural agricultural livelihoods. The incoming president of UNEA has further cited the growing population as one factor posing to be a challenge with high demand for natural resources that is causing a great environmental degradation. With our continued consumption pat patterns and ever increasing demand for food, energy and water, we would require another five planets. Humanity needs to take lessons from history and must be proactive with prevent prevention policies. It is now the historic responsibility of the UNEA, UNEP, and us environment ministers to get it right. We do not have the luxury of time and we need to mobilize all our efforts. The Minister for Environment, Judy Wahongo, has however called for more funding to the United Nations system if the set goals are to be achieved. The main agendas of the Assembly will be revolving around setting environmental laws, financing of the goals that will be adopted as well as a proactive measure towards development. We recognize that for this to be realized, there's need for increased financial support from the UN regular budget to a matter that is, this is a matter that is on the agenda of this session. On day one of the conference, the major highlight has been focused on the effects of plastic waste to the oceans, where UNEP estimates that we are losing 13 billion US dollars per year, with 80% of the plastic waste in oceans being from land-based sources. That the impact, the costs on marine ecosystems is nearly 13 billion dollars a year. And if you imagine that many countries certainly developing countries, rely heavily on the marine world for their food store, for, for protein, for people who literally have no other source of food, they reach out to the oceans, then that is a genuine cost. So let me just say, we are not saying that the world will live without plastics, but what we're saying is we have become so complacent and so unconscious of the impact that we waste enormous amounts of plastic. We don't recycle it. Henry Miner. GBS News.